Welcome! Today what I want to do is show you how to factor this expression by factoring out the GCF, which we call the greatest common factor. So what we mean by the greatest common factor is the largest, or greatest, the largest number that factors into each of our terms. So you can see right here, I have one term, here's another term, another one, and another one. So I have four, um, well separate, not really terms, it's four separate kind of monomials. Um, that what I'm going to do is, for me to factor something out, each one of these monomials have to share that term that I'm going to factor out. So first, we always like to look at the numbers and say, all right, what is the largest number that all three of my monomials share? And I notice that they're even, so we obviously know that two is going to work. But we want to look at the greatest number. What is the largest number that divides into all of them? And once we figure that number out, all we're going to do is divide it out and put it outside. So I look at these two terms, and I notice that, well, after 2, the next number would be a 4. And I'm going to, uh, I can't go any higher than 4 because there's no number that divides into 4 that's larger than 4. So I can factor out a 4. And when I factor out a 4, I'm left with a negative x to the fifth y plus 20 divide out of 4 is going to give me a 5 x to the fourth yz minus negative 24 factor out of 4 give me negative 6 x cubed y cubed plus 7 x cubed yz. Okay, and you can always check your work with this by just simply doing the distributive property and multiplying your 4 back to every single monomial and you'll get back your original answer. Now the next thing is I want to look at these monomials and see what variables do all of them share. If they don't share the exact same um, variable, then I can't factor out. So you notice here I have a z and a z. So you might think, oh, I'd like to factor out a z, right? Well, since this monomial and that monomial do not have a z, you cannot factor it out. So I look, I notice that an x they all share, and they also all share a y. So I can factor out an x and a y, but what I do is, again, what is the largest um, power of x and y can I factor out? So now we're going to be looking at the exponents. Well, I have an x to the fifth. I can't factor out an x to the fifth out an x to the fourth. So now my largest is x to the fourth. And then the, now I look at my x to the third is going to be my largest exponent that I can factor out. And remember, when we're factoring out exponents, we're going to be dividing them, right? And the one thing, important thing to remember, whenever you divide exponents, or I'm sorry, you divide numbers with exponents, is you subtract the exponents. So now I look at, I can factor out an x cubed and let's see the largest y, here has a y to the first power, here's a y to the first power, um, y to the third power, but again, I have to use my, the smallest term that I have, that's going to be the largest I can factor out. Hmm. So I can now factor out an x cubed and a y to the first. I can't factor out a y cubed because I don't have three y's, right? I only have y to the first power here. So the largest y I can factor out is a 1. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out a y and an x cubed. So I already factored out my 4, but when I factor out my x cubed, I get a negative x squared, because remember you're dividing out an x cubed from an x to the fifth, so that's going to subtract your exponents. My y's, when I subtract out, gives me y to the 0, which is 1, plus 5xz, again my y's will cancel out, minus 6, x cubed, factor out an x cubed from an x cubed, gives me 1. Factor out a y from a y cubed, gives me y squared, plus 7z. As my, when I factor out an x cubed, I get, I factor out an x cubed from there, I get an x cubed, and I factor out a y, um, I get a y. So that is going to be my final answer by factoring out the greatest common factor. Thanks.